starting Unit 5, 5.1. Today we're just going to take the pretty easy drafts and verbal descriptions. What does that mean? Right here, first page of notes. They give you four graphs to choose from. We're matching. And what we want to do is you pick which one of those graphs depicts the story that's talked about over here. Which one of these tells me that you walk to a friend's house and you hang out on a Saturday afternoon. You walk home after three hours. So you can walk to your friend's house, you stay and hang out for a while, and you walk back home again. Which one of these graphs would represent that? A, B, C, or D? Who says A? says B. It says C. D? Hmm. The majority wins. It is B. As we started, you walk to a friend's house. So we start down here. We walk to a friend's house, then we stayed for a while. And then we walked home again. Now, how long did it take us to walk to our friend's house? This is on the x-axis tells us time in what? Hours. Hour. So how long did it take us to walk to our friend's house? One hour. One hour. How far away was it? Four. Four. This is the distance from home in miles. So in one hour, you walked four miles. Then you stayed at your friend's house for how long? You stayed here for three hours. three hours. Then how long did it take you to walk back home again? One. Another hour. It's a fast walker. If you walk four miles in an hour, it's a pretty fast walking. You can do it. All right, now we're done with that one. How about which one depicts number two? You walk to a movie theater and watch a movie. After the movie, you walk to a friend's house which is halfway back to your house. Which is half of the way to your house. Okay, who thinks it's A? C? D? You are correct, it is D. How about three? You go for a jog. After while you, and after a while you meet a friend. The two of you spend some time talking. After you, you talk, you decide that you're going to walk. You're going to walk home again, okay? So first you were jogging, then you talked, then you walked home. Which one of those describes that story? We have A and we have C left. Who says A? Oh, okay, I won't even ask who says C then. It is A. Now does this one match? You walk to a restaurant to meet a friend for lunch, okay? Uh, you realize that you stay too long at the restaurant so you have to run back home. Is that what's left? But how many think that this should be? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah. This one, we decided if you're gonna run back home, because you started at home, we decided it should be like that. Right? So that one was a little bit off. That was our that was our final guess on that one. So now let's label our own graph and draw our own line on the graph. So when you do these, it says you are giving your dog a bath in your family bathtub. It takes three minutes to fill the tub to a depth of nine inches. As soon as you get the dog into the tub, you hear your family return home. In order to avoid getting in trouble, I'm sure none of you get in trouble, right? For giving your dog a bath in the family bathtub, your dog gets a very quick bath that only lasts two minutes. You quickly unplug the drain and it takes five minutes for all the water to disappear down the drain. 
What do we need to do first? Label. Label. All right? Here we have our x-axis. Here we have our y-axis. What do you want the x-axis to be? Minutes. Minutes. Good. I like it. What do you want the y-axis to represent? Depth in what? Depth in inches. I agree. Now, what intervals? What did we start here? Uh, at the origin, we always start at zero, zero. What intervals do you want to go for for minutes? One by ones, twos, fours, what? Twos. 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 Because we only go, what, five minutes, two minutes, three minutes? Let's just go by ones? Yeah. Okay, label those. How about depth in inches for the water? Ones. Ones again, I agree. So when we first started, here we are at the bottom of the bathtub, right? No water in it. We're at zero, zero. We haven't started anything. When we started filling the bathtub, it says you are giving your big dog a bath. It takes three minutes to fill the tub to nine inches. So it takes us three minutes, one, two, three, right? And, it, and at that three minute point, how much water? Nine inches. Nine inches. So here's where we put our point. Now we don't go like this and connect it like that. We just show that, okay, we start running the water. And then over time, it fills up, fills up, and in three minutes, there's our tub. It's filled up to nine inches. Agree? Now what next? As soon as you hear the family comes home, so he gets a quick two minute bath. How do I represent that? Yep, we go over two more minutes because we didn't add any more water, we didn't take any out, we just stay at a standstill there for two minutes, the dog gets a bath. Now what? We pull the plug and it takes how long to drain it back to zero? Five minutes. So from here we have to go over five minutes. One, two, three, four, five minutes, right? Did I put my dot here? No. Nope, it drained all the way down to zero again, so you're going to have to go from here to here. Now that graph represents the dog's bath. All right, this one I like, scuba diving. A group of scuba, scuba divers, you can uh, label yours, and it is upside down for a reason. See here? That's for a reason, because we're at sea level. So here's the minutes that it took us. But then, when our divers, the scuba divers, go down beneath sea level, they go under the water, what intervals did I go by here? I went by the intervals of two. Why do I have negatives? Because it's going down. We're going below sea level. Just like the weather outside is getting cold, we're starting to go below zero, unfortunately. All right, so now we're going to go, we're negative two feet below sea level for here. First of all, where do we start now? We're not going to start down here at the origin. We're going to start up here. We're in the boat. We're at zero, zero. We have not done any scuba diving yet. What's my first line going to represent? A group of scuba, scuba divers leaves the surface of the water and dives down 10 feet in one minute. So where do I have to go from here? I went down 10 feet. How long did it take me to go down for 10 feet? One minute. So we put our dot right there. I'm down, took me a minute. In one minute, I'm down 10 feet. What's the next thing I need to add? The divers need to rest at this level for two minutes to equalize the pressure in their ears. Go, do I go up or down or just over or what? Right, because we have to stay at 10 feet for two minutes to let our ears equalize. Then after resting, the group continues to descend 10 feet to the bottom of the lake in the next minute. So where do I need to go from here? Down to the bottom of the lake another 10 feet. So we're down at 20 now. How long did it take me to get to the bottom? A minute. A minute. So I need to go over one more. There we go. 
Now that we're at the bottom, we're going to dig for a buried treasure. And it takes us three minutes to find the treasure. So am I done? No. What do I need to do? One, two, three. There. That represents my dive trip. Now what if we went up the same way? What if I ascended instead of descended? What if I ascended the exact same way? What would I have to do? Yep, up, up to 10. Oops, not that way though. I'd have to go, I'm gonna have a minute to go up to 10 again. So I'd be there. Over two, good. And then over one, up to, did I go the right way? Yeah. And right here. That's what it would look like if we ascended back up using the same intervals. No, but that takes us to this one. The homework is a lot easier than this one is. There's two of them that you have to talk about in your homework. Here it says, we need to write the story. Write a story that represents each graph. And like I, like I said earlier, this one's a lot longer than, than the ones in your homework today on page three. The divers have, have the buried treasure and they are about to begin their ascent to the surface of the water. Okay, so tell me in words just like they were telling us in words earlier. Let's us reverse it now and write the words. Here we are at the bottom of the lake. Tell me what I need to do. Swim up for the divers do what? Swim up for two minutes. Swim swim up. How far do they swim up? Four and a half. No wait, it's fifteen. No, it's only, this is minutes, remember, this is minutes here. So five minutes. How far did we go to this point to this point? One, two minutes, isn't it? It's only two minutes. How far did they go in two minutes? They went? They went up to five, four. Well, each one is how many? What's the interval? Four. No, what is our interval? Two. Two. So what did we go up in, in two minutes? We went up two, four, not quite six. We're halfway in between there. Five. 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 How many? Oh, did you say five? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. What is it? Five. five. Hmm, I've done this so many times today. I'm starting to see things. The diver swims up five feet in what? Two minutes. Two minutes. Then they what? Then they wait there for two minutes. Then they rest. You could even add you could even add they rest because they're so tired from it's even more work carrying that heavy treasure up. <laughs> If you wanted to get detailed, I know I have writers out there. So they rest for two minutes. Then swim up another what? Did we go up another five feet again? And they swim up another five feet to take a what? What kind of a rest? Water break. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what kind of a rest? One a one minute break this time. Now, then they swam another five feet up in a minute. Then they continued. To ascend, let's use a good word, ascend, going up. Then they ascended five more feet in how long? How long did it take them to go this five feet? One minute. Or no, I'm just fine. Yeah. In no. From here to here, they went 
How many minutes? Two. Two minutes. Then our final sentence could be, after resting, how long? Good. After resting one minute, they finished their five foot ascent to the top in another minute. Yeah. 